It's that time again for another edition of 10 Useful Websites. This is the third episode of this year. If you want to check out the other videos in this series, I'll put a link in the description. In this video, I'll show you 10 sites in various categories that some of you might know, along with websites that you wish you knew about earlier. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. First up is Have I Been Pwned? This website allows users to check if their personal data has been compromised by data breaches. To find out if one of your accounts has been compromised, enter your email address in the search bar, then click on the search button. Hopefully, you get this message that says, no pwnage found. Otherwise, if your account has been compromised, you'll get this message, along with the number of sites that have been breached and found pace. A paste is information that has been posted publicly on a website where hackers can share information. Listed below, you'll find all the sites where your account was compromised. If you've been affected by a data breach, it would be a good idea to change your login password for your email address and for each service where your account was breached. Have I Been Pwned is a great site for those people that wish to protect their security and privacy. If you're planning a road trip, Make My Drive Fun is useful to help you discover funky places along the way. It's simple to use. Just enter your origin city. I'll leave mine as New Orleans. Then enter your destination city. I'll change that one to Nashville, Tennessee. Then click on the Chill Out button. It will show you the miles and hours for your trip, along with the number of attractions along the way. And they'll be listed down here on the map. Below the map, you'll see the full list of attractions. You can click on the names of the attractions to get more information to decide if this is a destination that you would like to visit. At this time, Make My Drive Fun only lists attractions in the USA and Canada. Hopefully, they'll add more countries in the future. Open Culture offers free cultural and educational media. Here you can find free online courses, movies, audiobooks, ebooks, along with other free stuff. In their online courses section, you can find more than 1,300 courses from some of the world's leading universities, including Stanford, MIT, Harvard, Oxford, and many others. If you're looking for free courses and other media, Open Culture is another great site to check out. Make is another DIY site, which is similar to one that I've shown you in the past called Instructables. On Make, you can find tons of projects in several categories. When you're in one of their categories, you can adjust the results based on difficulty and duration. When you've selected a project, at the top, it will show you the time required, the difficulty level, and the cost of the parts needed for the project. Make is also responsible for the Maker Fair, which is a gathering of tech enthusiasts, crafters, and hobbyists with multiple events being held around the world. Speaking of making stuff, MIT App Inventor is for those of you that have been requesting a site where you can learn how to build apps with very little or no experience in computer programming. If you want to find out the types of apps that you can build with MIT App Inventor, they do offer a section where you can check out apps made by other creators. There's not enough time in this video for a tutorial, but if you're interested in trying out the App Inventor, they do offer a full tutorial to get you started. Right now, you can only create software applications for Android. A couple weeks ago, they announced that they'll soon be implementing MIT App Inventor for iOS. Duolingo is a learning platform where you can take easy to follow courses to learn a new language. They currently offer 23 languages for you to choose from. In addition to their website, you can also sync your progress with their iOS or Android app. If you have a Windows phone, they even have an app for that. They make it easy to get started. Once you select Get Started, select the language that you want to learn, choose a daily goal anywhere between 5 to 20 minutes per day, then select Set Goal. It will then ask if you're new to the language or if you already know some of that language. I'll select Start at the Basics. Now that your course has begun, just read and follow the instructions. If you want to learn a new language, try out Duolingo. Deeple Translator is a freely available translation service that just launched in August of 2017. 
but I wanted to show it to you all because it's getting a lot of praise for being more accurate and nuanced than Google Translate and Bing Translator. Just like any other translator service, you enter the text on the left and then you select the language you want it translated to on the right. Currently, there aren't many languages to choose from. I'll choose Spanish. When clicking on a word, it will give you alternative words to choose from and finish the sentence for you. Also, when you click on a word, it will give you additional information below. With the limited languages to choose from, I wouldn't recommend this to be your default translate service yet, but in time, it could prove to be a good replacement. Bleeping Computer is a computer help site for users of all skill levels to get the latest security news along with resources for answering security and other technical questions. They also offer removal guides for the latest viruses. They're also well known for their forums with many active users to get help with your technical issues. So the next time you're having problems with your system, check out Bleeping Computer. I'll mention this one quickly. Fortes is a practice test site for high school, college, and professional exams. There are many of you preparing to take your college entrance exams. As you know, there are a lot of paid sites where you can get help. Fortes is one of those rare sites that is completely free. Start.me is a customizable bookmark manager that can replace your homepage on any browser or computer. Their dashboard is not just a bookmark manager, it's also a great place to check out the weather, news, and RSS feeds all on one page. You can also access your bookmarks anywhere on any device, including your phone, tablet, or personal computer. When you first log into the site, you'll notice that everything is organized in blocks with a search bar at the top. To create a new block, just select the plus that appears at the bottom of each of the columns. You'll have five choices, Bookmarks Block, Newsfeed, Notes, Import Bookmarks or Feeds, and Widget. I'll select Newsfeed. You could select from the many listed below, or just do a search here at the top. I'll just search for Tech. I'll select Ars Technica. Then select Add Feed. And now a new block has been created. To rearrange any of the blocks, just select an empty area within a block left click and drag. And I'll drop this one below latest news. Then select done. If you have bookmarks that you no longer need, removing them is easy. Just move your mouse over the bookmark, right click and select delete. To add a bookmark, I'll add one here to the shopping block. Select the plus sign to the left of the drop down arrow. And you can either paste the URL here or just start typing the name of the site. I'll add PC part picker. And there it is. Select Add. And now it's in my shopping bookmarks. To rearrange a bookmark, left click on it and drag it wherever you want it. I'll now show you additional settings that you should know about. Select the edit icon in the upper left. From the drop down, select theme and layout. Here you can change the number of columns. You can choose a light or dark theme. I think I'll stick with the dark for now. You can also change the background and widget transparency. I'll change the background by selecting it. You can narrow down the selection by selecting any subject, and you'll have several choices here. I'll just leave it on any subject. Then just scroll through the images to find the background that's going to work for you. I think I'll check out this grunge city background. Select the X in the upper right, and then select Done. There's so much more that you can do here. I'll leave the rest of the site for you to discover on your own. Start.me is free for individuals. They do offer plans for professionals with additional features. But for most, the free plan will be all that they need. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of a website that you think could benefit others, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click on the bell notification icon for more useful websites and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.